What's up guys? Welcome to Rockin' the Country again. I'm Don and welcome for the first time. If you're a newbie, love having you here. I, uh, I don't know, it's just fun seeing not just the channel grow, but all the interaction among folks. So, and I'm learning a lot when you guys talk to each other in the comments section. There's like, oh my gosh, this guy knows his stuff. She knows her stuff. And you know, it's just, it's very cool. I'm doing a subscriber request today of Lucinda Williams' song, Drunken Angel. And this song wasn't requested per se, but Lucinda Williams was. And uh, let's see, um, this was requested by Mr. Jack Cero and Mr. Jody Parrish. And um, so this goes out to you guys. You'd requested just Lucinda Williams generally. And I think one of you, maybe it was you, Jody, that also requested possibly Holly Williams. And um, Holly, I think Holly is Hank Williams Jr.'s daughter, but Lucinda is not related. So, um, and I had to look that up to find this out because with the last name like Williams, it's like, oh, maybe, she, you know, she's one of the Williams family. But this album, uh, with this song, Drunken Angel, is on Lucinda's 1998 album, Car Wheels and a Gravel Road. So that's a hell of a title. That's a country title. You ain't gonna get that in any other genre. Sorry, it's not happening in rap, rock, classical, just isn't. So, um, and she, oh, and this song, the album won the Grammy for Best Contemporary Folk Album. So I know she's also associated with some rock uh, and all that, but um, this is considered contemporary folk. She's from Lake Charles, Louisiana. Louisiana, that's how we say it up here. I know somebody will make fun of me for that. Maybe it's like Louisiana, but she's from Lake Charles, Louisiana. I'm guessing that's an acceptable pronunciation. <laughs> I have no idea. But, uh, and this is a video. This is like a grainy video. It's 20 years old. It's, uh, I think this was released in 98 or somewhere thereabouts. Or, yeah, it's probably 15 years old at least. Boop. Well, this is written this? Uh, about a songwriter I knew back in Texas by the name of Blaze Foley. It's called Drunken Angel. I like her speaking voice. Very cool. Nice intro. She reminds me a little bit of Chrissy Hine already. The look reminds me of Chrissy Hine and a bit of her confident delivery reminds me of Chrissy Hine and even some tonal qualities to her voice. Chrissy Hine of The Pretenders. I love Chrissy Hine. Um, I love The Pretenders. I mean, I just jammed out to that, you know, when I was in college. And, uh, but this, this has like a, that semi-rock vibe to it, you know, I'm feeling it. Here we go. Wow, she has a beautiful voice. Her voice is perfect for this song. And they consider this folk. 
That's a surprise to me. Do you guys see that, folk? I hear far more rock. You know, the harmonies here are beautiful. Oh, there's something that's like beautifully haunting about it. Drunken angel. I mean, there's so many. I, I don't know if it's ironies going on. I mean, drunken angel. Like you're a really good per. Like really good per. This is how I'm hearing it anyway. Really good person. You're like an angel. But you have this issue. Drunken. Drunkenness. You're. But and. You're on the other side. I'm not sure if that means that you died or you're just, you're an angel, but you're on the bad side of life right now. You're, you're a drunk, you know, alcoholic maybe. I don't know. Let's see how it's resolved. But the harmonies too that are brought in are perfect for her voice. They accompany her voice perfectly. And the pitch of the guitar strings that she's playing also, it all just melds together. Um, there, there's like no conflict. I'm not hearing conflict in this song, I guess is what I could say. Even though there's irony involved in the lyricism, I'm not hearing or feeling conflict in the instrumentation. So it's, uh, yeah, it, it creates almost a sense of peacefulness. Yeah. Somebody threw away a music career due to alcohol partying. Wow. That was that was quite a song. I mean, it I saw the country influence in it. I mean, the lyricism in it just bleeds country. Um there, the person about whom the song was written isn't being slammed for having been a drunk or throwing, it sounded like throwing away a music career. Like, why'd you put down your guitar, drunken angel? And I've known, we all know, so he, Hank, Hank Williams Sr., you know, he got kicked out of the Opry because he was in no show a number of times. Um, and yet he was so influential in country music, but the bottle got him. And I know some people who the bottle got them in their careers, whatever their respective careers were, some music, some other things, and the bottle got them. And that's what this song is. But it wasn't overly disrespectful. It's more of like, you're not a jerk. I just wish you continued in your career because I love you. I wanted to hear what you're, you would have produced in your music, all the different ways we connect with other people when they're doing what they're really good at or what they believe in or what they want to do or all of that. So um, this is just a beautiful song. Um, uh, I'll rate it. Man, it's hard for me, though, because it's so different. I was, you know, and I hear the name Williams, even though it's, you know, she's not of the, um, the Hank Williams senior or junior tree, as far as I know from the research I did, you still kind of expect more country and, or more folk. But, um, yeah, I wonder if she and James Taylor ever performed together. I, I could see the two of them kicking it pretty well. Uh, she has a beautiful singing voice. You know, it's not classically trained. That's not what I'm talking about. But you don't need that. I mean, there are people who absolutely can listen to Bob Dylan on an eternal loop. I can't, but he doesn't have a good voice. But, you know, the poetry in his songs, people just, and sometimes the melodies he creates are just wow. 
So you don't have to have a great singing voice. Um, you know, Tom Petty doesn't have a good classical voice. I can listen to that guy all day, and I have. And she just has a very beautiful voice, my estimation. So um, the heart in this, I'm going to give it an 8.4. It, it, it wasn't a complex song. It wasn't overly simple either or overly simplistic, but it, it worked. And, but the heart behind it. Like, you drunken angel. Like, even saying drunken angel, not saying drunken devil, drunken loser. Drunk, all the different harsh names we can dump on someone who's in a low spot. Um, they, they didn't go there. I love that respect for a human life, even when they mess up. Let's put it that way. Um, hi, Carolyn. I didn't curse there. So, anyway, all right, guys, that's it. Lucinda Williams. Yeah, all right, this goes out. Jack Cerro and Jody Parrish. You guys might have other songs of Lucinda's that you'd like to hear me do, and I'd love to do them, too. So, if you have recommendations, go for it. It may take me a while to get to them because my list is backed up. Crazy Dr. Pepper out there. I'm going to try to get to yours, too. If you listen to this this far, I'll try to get to yours, too, my friend. Um, so anyway, all right, guys, that's it. Lucinda Williams, 8.4, Drunken Angel. Have a great day. Please subscribe, hit the like button, share it, all the wonderful stuff, and keep rocking the country.